Well, hey everyone, my name is Dave. Welcome to NTD Racing. Today we are at PRI, Performance Racing Industries Massive Conference. We're here, I think, in one of the most exciting booths that are out here for a fabricator, and that is Bentec. And you've probably seen a lot of my videos where I talk about Bentec and what they do. And we're happy to be sitting here today with Kyle Mary from uh, Bentec. Mind uh, introduce yourself and say, you know, talk about what you do a little bit here at Bentec? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, so, um, like I said, I'm Kyle Mary. I work in the sales and marketing department, um, but I also I wear a lot of hats. So I kind of have my hands uh, just about everywhere uh, throughout the company. Well, cool. I, you know, I'm a numbers guy. I like numbers, and so <laughs> I pulled some up, and I thought I thought were fascinating. PRI. This is my first time here. Uh, it covers about one million square feet of floor space. The power that comes in here is amazing. But if you take that 1 million square feet, that's 17 football fields of floor space. So just everything from like brake lines all the way to million dollar race trailers. Uh, this is my first time here, like I said, but you guys have been here a couple times. Yeah, yeah, we've uh, been coming here for a very long time. Um, we actually started with just the software. Uh, and then of course, once we introduced the machines, that was uh, a big move for us, especially in uh, booth space needed. Um, and it's funny that you mentioned the uh, square footage of this place in football fields when there actually is a football field that's part of it, right? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. That's where all the, the big trailers are. We went walking around there yesterday and I think we went through a three quarter million dollar uh, trailer, which was just amazing. Yeah. Everything about it was pretty cool. No, uh, so we're sitting around a couple of the machines here that, that Bentec has. They have the Dragon A250, and if you've been watching my channel, I have one of those in our shop. And it is a total game changer. I think that the reason we have as many race cars as we have now is because of the Dragon A250. But I think the most exciting machine that is here is the one right behind me is the, the Pipe Bender 2000. It's almost out to the public. Just We just started uh, the production run on it, correct? Yep. So it's, yeah. it's, uh, it's on its way out. We're really excited. So like, what I think that people maybe don't appreciate is, is just how important precision is when you're fabricating something. Uh, and I think that the Dragon A250 it, you know, gets you there as far as like the, the cutting the material. When you can have like down to thousands of an inch precision and as a fabricator and a welder, that, that's what makes the weld easy and strong. But then the other part of that, and this is where I think is, is, is so understated, is how important it is to have accuracy when you're doing bends. Say for example, a, uh, the hoop, like a B, you know, the B pillar or something like that, that's like 120-ish inches of, of tube to make an entire B pillar. And I'm a pilot, and we always talk about this concept. It's called the 60 to one rule. And what that means is like, let's say I'm flying somewhere that's 60 miles away, and I miss it by one degree. When mm -hmm. I get 60 miles down the line, I've missed my target by one full mile. And so if you extrapolate that over a 120 degree tube in a couple bends, if you just, of all those bends end up being one degree off, you've missed your end point by two inches. And you know, and I, a lot of times with the, the bender I'm using right now, like if I can get within a half a degree, I'm pretty happy. And you guys get within a hundredth of a degree is what you're advertising. I think it's even tighter than that. So it's a thousand times more accurate than what I can do with my own, my own two bender. And I, I think that's completely understated in the benefit of a machine like this. Yeah, and a lot of that um, comes from the uh, tolerance stack of your bending, right? So um, one of the things that we do to get that out of the way is do all your rotations and movements for you. Um, so that really gets all of those questions out of the way, eliminates those errors as much as possible. You can, you'll see a lot of hardware out here and it's, and it's really just kind of like hit a button and it does its thing, but what's driving these things is software driven and you guys kind of started out as a software company, is that right? Yeah, software is what we know and it's uh, what we do very well. Uh, we've been doing that for over 20 years now. We're, we're actually coming up on 25 years in, uh, in a month, so really excited about that. And a, a very interesting thing about that is, you know, building that machine around our software versus building a machine and then finding a handful of different third-party softwares to work together. Uh, it makes it a really smooth transition when it comes to things like support, uh, where, you know, we're a one-stop shop when it comes to calling in. If you need any help with anything, our software developers are in-house, our engineers are in-house, so really there's no uh, information that isn't obtainable from underneath our roof. Yeah, and again, another, gosh, another just totally understated thing is, is your guys' support. When you call up to your guys' company, it's not somewhere else. There's guys in your shop that are answering the phone. And what's also really interesting, because I've been to Bentec, is that you've got the support guys sitting in their desk, and right behind them is the Dragon A250, the Dragon A400. Yep. 
And so when you have a software problem, you can actually email them your, your, your code, they can put it in their machine, try to run the same program and see if they can flush out what your problem is. They can do all kinds of things that are just uh, amazing without having to actually show up and fix your equipment right there. They Absolutely. can maybe troubleshoot it at your place, which I think is pretty, pretty awesome and great for the customer. Um, but so you, you guys have got sort of the software, the dragons. Now you're going with the the pipe bender and the boss software. You guys are really growing. It's, it's been a lot of fun to be a part of. I've I've worked there part time for a long time, and then came on full time after college. Um, and you know, being a part of that growth and watching it go from uh, you know from two people to thirteen people to now over fifty people. Um, it, it's been a really fun journey, and uh, there's there's no end to where we're going to go. You walk around the shop, and it was really cool because everyone had just so much pride in what they were doing. It was just really neat machines that they were they were making, and I, I think it kind of brings into the everything about this is American made. The majority of the stuff that we're not doing ourselves in our manufacturing building uh, is coming right from that um, yeah, like Forest Lake, Wyoming area. So. Uh, just just north of the Twin Cities. We've been talking about this PD2000 for a while. I've been really excited about it, but it hasn't hit the road right away. And it seems like you guys are doing a lot of testing to make sure that it's ready to go before it hits the public. Yeah, yep. Uh, when we initially introduced it, which was about a year ago this time, um, we, were, we were really excited. We were ready to, ready to get it out to the market. And then we just, we found some longevity issues that we were not comfortable putting out there. So we decided to bring it back. We completely redid it. Um, if you would have saw it last year, it was about 600 pounds lighter. Um, so we, we added quite a bit of metal to it to really beef it up. Um, and we've been doing nothing besides longevity testing ever since. So we're, we're really excited to have the last bender that somebody's going to buy. That, that's amazing. And, and I've been to your guys' shop. And one of the, I thought the fascinating things was, was that you just weren't sending out equipment that wasn't going to work. Uh, they have a whole section of their their shop where they're actually, they assemble all the machines, they hook up the plasma cutters and they do test cuts on pieces before they ever go out the door. So that when it shows up at your shop, it, we already know it works. It's already been tested, it has worked completely. And it shows up on a pallet, pretty much ready to go with my, some minor assembly. Um, the one that I put in my shop, like I didn't have to calibrate it. I literally just put a tube in and it started cutting immediately. And that includes the engraver, the, the marking pen, the plasma torch, everything was working perfectly right out of the box. So it's kind of interesting that our relationship with you guys really started at the beginning of our racing careers. We started using the Bentec software and uh, your marketing reached out to us and I thought that was really cool. And our, I think that our relationship has grown over time and, and we're not the first race team that you guys have been affiliated with. The, the racing industry has been a, a pillar of our foundation. Um, with over 35,000 software customers, I would say easily over half of those are people in the racing industry is making you know, roll cages and chassis and bumpers and, and all that type of stuff. Um, when it comes to the relationships, um, you know, we, we've had some other race teams. One thing that we, that we do that um, we, we never really talk about or, or post on our social medias is we bring in SAE Baja teams from colleges all around the U.S., um, typically right around this time of the year uh, or January. And they come in, they, uh, we show them our, our facility, show them our software and our tooling. They, they come in, they cut out their, their chassis for SAE Baja, they bring it back, weld it up, and usually we get a sticker on the car or something cool like that. But it's great to you know, have those kids in and help them out and help them get into that, that next stage of their career. I don't know if you knew this, but that's where I got my kind of start building off-road cars. I was a student in college and we were building an off-road race car, had a team of four of us. And I tell you what, if we had had Bentex software back then, it would have just, it made things a lot easier. We ended up taking uh, first in the West competition for awesome. Mini Baja. I think we took eighth in the Midwest and we went to, uh, to Ohio to Bell Fountain to, to race it. And that was, that was a big deal. Um, you know, and one of the things I, I kind of think is really neat is I, as we walk around PRI here is, is that as, as you look at a lot of the things out here, there's a lot of stuff that's just unattainable for the normal guy. You know, you, you see just, you know, multi-million dollar machines and you dream about having those things, but for the normal guy, it's not attainable. Right. And what I think is really great about Bentec is just the versatility of being able to, you could just, you know, it, it's so scalable from just somebody who wants to be able to cut tubes, no matter what, and whether they use the Bentec Pro software where basically you can unlock it with a printer and a couple angle grinders and you can make a full racing chassis all the way to production with like the Dragon A400 or the PB2000. 
Um, you guys cover the whole gamut. It, it, it's basically, nobody is out of the game. Everybody has a chance to be in the production game. Maybe it's just the difference between if you're making a one-off or if you're into production, and that's kind of the scalable, the versatility I think that you guys are bringing to the, to the racing industry. It's funny you say that. One of the initial mindsets of the software back in 2001 when it came to pricing was deciding between uh, a new muffler that, that week or the Bentec software. So that was a big, a big part of our pricing structure and just making sure that um, we, could, we could get into the common household and, and help the common person out. And that's such a good point when you talk about like, and I get this question all the time, what kind of tube notcher should I purchase? And, I, and I've got like an amazing tube notcher and I never use it, it's actually an anvil because it's like this 50 pound piece of metal and I use it as an anvil. I do not use it as a tube notcher, I always say, as opposed to buying a tube notcher, go buy the Bentec Pro software, a, have a printer and a couple angle grinders, and the capability is light years beyond what you can do with one whole saw. If you watch a lot of our video series, especially going back to our truck we call Honcho, we've cut about 115 individual tubes, and I did every single one with just the Pro software, two angle grinders, and a printer cutting out the wraps for them. And it took a while, it took about like three to four months to make the entire chassis. Years later, uh, we go to Bent make the chassis for Lefty, and you guys invite us up to Osceola, Wisconsin, and that was a that was a great experience coming up there to visit with you guys. But we cut the entire chassis, about 115, 120 individual tubes. It took us three hours on your machine, and now we're cutting them in our own shop. And when I make, have to make a chassis for like one of our uh, our Class 11 cars, uh, it's about 30 minutes of cutting, and that's mostly <laughs> setup. You know, it's like yeah. I, once it starts cut, cutting, it's it's done rapidly all the marks are on there throw it into a bender just again the versatility and and the scalability uh especially if you're going to get into production or something like that you just can't touch what you can do and i think with what you guys have here which i think is just the gold standard for fabrication as far as with tube notching and also now tube bending so pretty amazing stuff so. yeah thank you um and i guess you have some really cool stuff coming down the pipeline uh when it comes to collaborating with us. One of the most rewarding things I think for me as a, as a builder, when somebody comes up to me and says, I watched your video, I am now doing this, and it's now my job. I'm doing it as a fabricator or something like that. So we, you know, as I was trying to think of what could we do to best serve those people, what can we do to best serve our sponsors, and then also ourselves, is we started a, a video series called Open Source Bug. And so for our first test at this, is we are building a class 11 VW Bug race car, which is super popular right now. And what we are doing is I am doing all the CAD work and I'm showing you on videos how we put everything together, but then we are providing you all of the CAD work for free. To unlock those things, you need to have software like the Bentec Pro software, you know, at a minimum. And you can go all the way up to having a Dragon A250, a Dragon A400, or hopefully here pretty soon, one of the PB2000s and that will unlock the ability to make a one-off, you know, which would be awesome if we can race a car that looks like ours. You can make multiples of them. You can modify it because Bentec software is so easy to move nodes around if you want to change roll cages and those kinds of things to make it your own. Uh, and, and I think one of the most rewarding things is to hear somebody say, I built a car and I ended up in my own fabrication shop and now my family is supported by this fabrication shop. Yeah. And that's kind of ultimately, what I think what we're trying to do is you know, maybe help people like Mike Rowe bridge that skills gap which is out there. Yeah. We want to be a part of that. And I know that you guys do too. And uh, you know, I've heard a little bit about how you guys you know, go through your hiring, because you're, you're getting bigger, you need more people. Yeah. And how you go through your hiring process and bring people up through the company. One of the big things that we do is, um, as we bring that person on, they actually go through our service tech program and they become a service tech for at least six months before they actually go into their field, whether that's engineering, uh, software development, sales. And what that does is it just builds up that foundation for them to understand our customer base, understand what, what troubles that they have, uh, what they do. That way when you go into that, you know, that field that, you're, that you were wanting to go into, um, you have all that background knowledge to further assist our customers. So, We've uh, so far been very successful with that. It's it's been a big um, learning curve at the same time, uh, but it's it's definitely a lot of fun to have somebody go in to a spot like engineering, knowing what our customers' needs really are, instead of uh, just going in and starting designing stuff from <laughs> from the knowledge that they have. More information about Bentech in the description below. Check them out. Such a great company. 
uh, again, thanks for having us here. And uh, if you want to follow along, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. But most importantly, hit the bell for notification of future episodes. Otherwise, you might not see one of our videos coming out. And we sure want to see you next week. Can't wait to do this with you guys again. Take care of yourself. Thank you.